So earlier this year, <clears throat> I made a video about Sri Dharma Akarya. Akarya. I'm not going to call him Acharya because I don't think he's earned that title, okay? And all you people in Dharma Nation, you fucking sheep who just follow along with everything he says and you come to his defense anytime anyone criticizes him, which is rare because he's got this massive echo chamber around him. But all of you people who criticize me for calling him Akarya and saying I don't know how to pronounce Sanskrit, that's a load of bullshit. It's a joke. It went over your head. I call him Akarya because he doesn't know what he's talking about. And I refuse to believe that just because he's some kind of self-proclaimed scholar of Sanskrit and Sanatana Dharma that he has any type of actual authority. What I'm going to talk about now is spiritual authority and what it really means. First off, if you use the word spiritual authority, you're already, you've lost because you don't understand that the world is more than just spirit, okay? What I'm talking about in my school goes far beyond any type of spiritual authority because I'm not just obsessed with transcendence. I'm not just obsessed with the spirit like Akarya, Akarya, or any of these other gurus which are actually modern gurus. They're not traditionalists. They don't understand anything about tradition, especially when it comes to something like Sanatana Dharma. Now, first off, I'm a tantric, okay? And I know that Tantra technically formally developed out of Sanatana Dharma within India, but it's a perennial tradition that is much older than any one specific form of Aryan religion that developed. And even though I don't technically practice Sanatana Dharma, I know a lot more about it than Akarya. A lot more. Because I understand its essence, see? And it's a lot more than just spirit. When we're talking about something like an Aryan culture, like ancient India with Sanatana Dharma, we're talking about body, inner fire, mind, and spirit. If you want to teach people how to be powerful within this age, the Kali Yuga, the age of the body, you can't just be obsessed with spirit. See, that's where you all go wrong. You become obsessed with leaving the foundation of power within this age that is the body. You are all so obsessed with reading all the time, reading books every fucking day, always books, and reciting mantras, okay? Like, here's the thing. Even if you practice asana, you're not doing it for the cultivation of any type of fire in the belly. You're doing it because you're working towards a transcendent practice where you leave the ego behind. And I don't want to hear any of you Dharma Nation sheep. <laughs> telling me that Akarya wants us to preserve the ego or preserve the self after death. He's just playing with words. That's what he does because he's severely maladjusted in the throat chakra. He's stuck there. If you want to live powerfully, if you want to live well, and you want to develop yourself, not just in spirit, but in body, fire, mind, stop looking to the past. Stop looking to some golden age. Live now. Live now. Now see, you're not going to hear that from any of these um, so-called gurus who have some you know, lineage within one of the uh, Indian traditions. Fuck their lineage. I don't give a shit about their fucking lineage. Let me tell you something. I was raised in Satanism as a child. I went through initiatory rites you would never fucking wish on your worst enemy. And you can learn a lot more about a world of eminence, a world that is ruled by the divine feminine through a satanic cult than you can through any of these new age uh, right-hand path yoga cults like Dharma Nation. Real magic. I learned how you can actually apply Tantra in a perennial sense to master the self and to be able to indulge in life's pleasures instead of being ruled by compulsion. And it made me strong. It made me powerful. And guess what? The reason why my teachings are effective is because I understand the energetic nature of things. It's not just words to me. It's not just books. It's not dead ideas. 
It's a living tradition. And that's something that Akaria doesn't understand. He doesn't understand the energetic nature of what he's teaching. It doesn't matter who my guru was. It doesn't matter. My childhood really has nothing to do with this when you think about it. What matters is, do my methods work? And they do. Then you can ask my students and you can ask the people who follow the yoga school if my methods work. They fucking work. Because I'm teaching real practices rooted in an actual understanding through exploration of this world through exploration of the material, in examining consciousness, in examining the cosmos. That is what Tantra is. It's an examination of consciousness, an exploration of the cosmos through material means. And that's a hell of a lot more than being obsessed with sitting properly. Like a Gakaria, he's just gonna sit there on his little throne with his idiot yes-men surrounding him, totally protected from any criticism. And he's gonna talk about sitting properly as if that's relevant. We are all Brahman and etc. etc. They can't even sit properly. As if that has anything to do with exploration of consciousness or understanding the nature of the cosmos. It's got jack shit to do with anything relevant. These are dead traditions. It's a dead lineage. Lineage doesn't matter in this age. What matters is, can you become powerful with the practices that you're applying? Or are you going to be a slave? A Kharia is not going to make you powerful. He's going to make you a slave to his cult of personality. That's what he does. Sit properly. Sit properly. Skylar, Skylar, stop it. I will now indeed intercept this transmission in order to restore Dharma to the internet yoga community. Yes indeed, I am Kalki, the Horse Master, Prince of all Dharma, and Sigma Male Supreme. I have come to end your reign of evil. Hold it, Sri Dharma Akalya. I think you are making a mistake. My lord, it's you. What mistake have I made? Please set me on the path of Dharma. I think that Skylar Miller is right about everything. You must hand him the wheel of Dharma. But, my lord... Silence! I have spoken the truth. The lineage must be upheld. Yes indeed, my lord. I understand. <laughs>